Okay, so for this craft, um, what we're going to do is we're going to make a lovely, nice and easy apple bird feeder. Okay, so the ingredients I said you'd need is some twigs, some scissors, some string, an apple and some bird seeds. Now it's better if you can use sunflower seeds, but the smaller ones will work too, um, just a little bit fiddlier. So if you can get um, these black ones, sunflower seeds, either picked out of your bird mix or you can buy them on their own if you if you'd like to do that as well um then yeah that'll be a little bit easier for you but i'm going to use a mixture to show you that you can use you can use either so the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to core your apple so it needs to have a hole running through the middle like this so you can use an apple corer like i've done here which makes it much easier or um you can carefully remove it the middle using a sharp knife just um take it easy be nice and careful if you do decide to do it that way but we want there to be a nice clear hole the whole way through the apple okay um so the next thing that i'm going to do now is i'm going to take my twigs about well, three is, is just fine and i'm going to poke them through what's going to be kind of the bottom bit of my apple this is going to make some perches for my birds okay so just going to be nice and careful poking this right through it should go through the middle so I can see it through there and just kind of screw motion it through until it comes out the other side okay so there's my first perch ready to go okay and then I'm going to repeat that with another twig doesn't really matter where in the apple that this pokes through there we go it's just to create some different perches for your for your birds okay so that's poked through there um, and now on my final stick I'm going to need to take some string because this is going to be the way that my um, bird feeder can be attached to some trees or something so I'm going to take a nice length of string about this long okay and I'm going to tie it around my last stick in just a simple knot right in the middle all sorts of birds will really love this feeder. Um, the mixture of seed makes it really suitable for other birds, but some flower hearts are particularly, or just some flower seeds are particularly healthy for um, for birds. They contain a lot of those key ingredients that they need for their energy. Okay, so I've got my stick here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to thread my string through core of the apple. It's pretty open it looks. So I'm going to thread this through so it comes out on the other side and then I've got a way of hanging up my apple. Okay so I can then attach this onto a tree. Okay and it's got different things for my birds to perch onto. All right now what I need to do is I need to start um, sort of decorating it with my seeds. So it's ready to go. It just needs its seeds now. So I'm going to start poking these through, through the skin of the apple. So they just sort of sit there, ready for the birds to come and take them, just like this. So I'm going to make sure that there's plenty there for my birds to eat. So I'm going to make sure that my apple is pretty much covered with nice, tasty seeds for them. Okay, so it might take a little bit of time to do this, but um, it'll definitely be worth it for the end result. Um, so just keep piercing them through till you start to see them making a bit of a pattern. Okay. And once you've spent some time pushing the seeds into the skin of the apple, it is a little bit fiddly, um, but you should end up with something like this. So it doesn't need to be absolutely covered. You can put on more or less than me if you like. You can always push in more seeds later on because um, it is a little bit of a fiddly job. The sunflower seeds are probably the best ones to use. They're a bit easier to push in than some of the smaller, sharper ones. But it's nice to have a variety. So if you want to use some of those too, then um, yeah, feel free to have a little go. Uh, what I'm going to do now, you can see birds in the background here. I think they're waiting for their food. Is um, I'm going to put this out. I'm going to hang this up and allow them to have their feed. So I've decided to hang my bird feeder up just on a branch just underneath the bushes here um, just because I've got a bird bath here that I know that they really enjoy using so 
I thought when they come to use the bird bath they can maybe have a little snack as well um, but you can hang it up anywhere in your outdoor space um, you can put it um, on a strong kind of tree branch or you could put it off a bird feeder that you may have already um, anything that will hold its weight and basically just thread it around and tie it up with a little knot and then um, your bird feeder should be good to go um, they should eat the apple and things when um, the seeds have kind of gone and they enjoy perching on the um, sticks there as well so um, fantastic I uh, hope you enjoy making that bird feeder and I look forward to seeing your um, pictures that you may have taken of your bird feeders or if you're lucky to see some birds maybe actually using the bird feeder itself see you soon guys